This episode is brought to you by Dr. T's Primary Care for Men. Get back your pride. Call them 956-441-2188. Out of here. Like, you know, back at Steven, his barroom buddies. Yeah. Back in the day, uh, then you had... Uh, you had a couple of other country artists that were, and then your, I guess he's your uncle, right? Country Roland Jr. Yes. Yeah. Uh, he was playing, was he playing with your grandpa? Yeah, he did. He started with my granddad. Yeah. Uh, it was the family. And then he went on his own, no? Yeah. He, he, he decided yes, to go. Yes, sir. Uh, uh, do you talk to uh, Country Roland Jr. or? No, not really. No? Not at all. <laughs> no, not at all? No. After no. my grandfather passed away, it, we just kind of. Dispersed the family, dispersed. Yeah, was it, what was the cause of that or what, bro? Honest to God, uh, I don't know. I, I think it happens in a lot of families. It's a sad thing uh, when the patriarch and the matriarch of your family you're gone. Uh, the family just kind of breaks away, and I know. Uh, oh, there was a lot of going back and forth about about the band and and. Legalities and stuff, and about the name, yeah, Country Rolling. He, he patented and trademarked the name Country oh, Rolling. Okay, so that's why we started going back to your daddy because there was a lot of confusion. Yeah, we would get calls like, "Hey, you're 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 on for this coming week," or you know, and, and we're like, "No, we're not. <laughs> we we weren't contracted." And there was a lot of, "Are we getting the son? Are we getting the the daughters and the grandsons?" And mm-hmm. so we decided. We went to our fans. We went to our our uh, social media outlets, and we asked, "What do y'all think?" We're thinking of changing the name. It's a new era, and uh, you know, we want to do something a little different and uh, honor my granddad the way he should be honored. And uh, would you have wanted to, uh, you know, utilize the the name Country Rolling? Well, we band? did. We did go by the. We we are the Country Rolling Band. Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah, because you were the ones that played with your. We with were your the grandpa. ones that played. Yeah. yeah, I was in the band since I was sixteen. Mm-hmm. My mom, my mom, in the mid eighties, around eighty four, the girls kind of stopped just for a little while, mm-hmm. and my granddad kept going. Uh, I think with Arnold and the Junction Band for a little while. That's the other band I was thinking of, Arnold and, and the uh, Dun- right. And then there was the other band that had um, uh, Valle de Palmas, uh, the Texas Country Texas Band. Country Band. Yeah. Those are bands that came out of yeah. you know, yeah. Yeah, so uh, we actually went to to our our supporters, our fans. I hate to say, I don't even like to say fans. Though. We say our friends, yeah, <laughs> our, our supporters, and we put out what do you think? And they actually came back with Kicker Daddy Legacy because my granddad was also dubbed by Romeo Sanchez, uh, a musician here in the valley in the in the seventies, as the Kicker Daddy. Spell double K. Well, my granddad spells it double K, but ARV International and Falcon Records spell it K I C K E R. But my granddad was like, "No, we're gonna do it K I K K E R." So that's what he did. Would you have wanted to uh, use the name Country Roll? Because I, I, I think of Country Rolling Junior, and he's got Country Rolling Junior, right? And then if you all would have used Country Rolling, it would have kind of been kind of it, like there a, was, And there was. That's why I'm saying it. Yeah. I mean, aside from all the family stuff, uh, there was a lot of confusion as to who they were getting. Mm-hmm. And they'd call and they'd be like, we thought we were getting you. And yeah. They weren't. So um, I think it did set us back a little bit because a lot of people were like, well, who who are, who is Kicker Daddy? You know, uh, Everybody knows who Country Rolling is. So yeah. you say Country Rolling, the daughters and the grandsons. Yeah. And that's what we were doing. It was Country Rolling Band. We are the Country Rolling Band. We'll always be the Country Rolling Band. My mom and Gordy are founding members yeah. of the band. I came in when I was about 16. My brothers my brothers started playing drums with my granddad when he was eight years old. Yeah. You know? So uh, just to avoid a lot of confusion and whatnot, we decided uh, let's just change the name. And Kick Your Daddy Legacy is what our friends supporters our fans i think it's a great name bro i think so too i think kicker daddy legacy is a great tribute name for your grandpa right and you know i hate to say it but it doesn't matter what name we go by (laughs) they know what they're getting yeah and and if they don't once they hear (laughs) yeah once that first couple of seconds of music starts they're like oh are you related to country Mm rolling i'm like yeah he was my granddad We're, we're the country rolling band when did you realize you were able to sing like him, bro? Because, I mean, it's hard to emulate your grandfather, bro. I, mean, I, I actually think I don't sound anything like him, mm-hmm. but uh, I get that well, a lot. Well, you're the closest thing there is. Well, and you're you're probably about, like, the sixth person in the music business that has said that. I've, I've had people up there say, you know, they've told my mom, my aunt, they've told everybody, they've told people in the business, this is as close to country as you're going to get. Mm-hmm. And, uh... I never, I, it took me a long time to know how to accept that. Like I, I wouldn't accept it. 
it, not that I was embarrassed. I just, it was so awkward. And, you know, I've always said my grandfather's country role and he's, he's the only one. There's never going to be anybody like him. I'm not trying to fill his boots. I'm not trying to ride on his coattails. Uh, I sing and that's just the way it comes out. Mm -hmm. And for a long time, I wouldn't accept it. And I had a, I had a fan at Grand Central Station say i'm telling you you sound like your grandfather and you better <laughs> take it like take the compliment yeah, compliment yeah wow. well so, you know you know um uh hank williams jr and hank williams uh, the third hank williams jr had a lot uh, a hard time with yeah that. he did i mean because he wanted to you know they wanted him to emulate his father until he finally evolved into his own persona right uh but uh but man, you're, I mean, I'm really happy that you're able to emulate your grandfather because if not, we all we'd have would be CDs and cassettes and right. YouTube, bro. Well, he, he asked us to keep going uh -huh. and uh, that's what, I mean, we're still doing it. I, I know there'll be a time down the road when, uh, you know, it's maybe not gigging and, and doing that. But right now we're working on making his music available, doing the tribute CD to him and uh, <clears throat> just keeping it out there. Like. I realize that there is there are so many people out there that that don't know like the new generation don't know and then they find out and they hear it and they're like wow so there are it's about teaching people mm -hmm. about him and his legacy and, and his music and that's that's basically what I'm trying to do just keep it alive keep it out there and and, and Judy and Gordy and so so did uh, country Roland jr. never wanted to give you the blessing to use it or like were, were you or did you offer to buy it off of him or something maybe or you no know? actually how we how i found out about that was um we decided to trademark the name country rolling band okay you know and the best way that i can explain it is that country rolling's not here right yeah he's gone so there's no more country rolling mm -hmm. but there as long as the country rolling band is around mm -hmm. there'll be a country rolling band yeah and unfortunately some people don't see it that way yeah, you know, so sad for them, but we we're just doing what we're doing. We're doing it the way my granddad wanted us to do it. Mm -hmm. You go see our show, and you're seeing what you would get with my granddad. I mean, we respect everybody. I know, bro. We, we're very respectful of everybody. We don't cut up and and act raunchy or anything. You know, mm -hmm. we. I know there's a time and a place, yeah. and, and I'm not putting anybody down, but we conduct ourselves in the way that my granddad and the band conducted themselves for yeah. many, many years. Because anything less than that would be dishonest. Yeah. You know. No, nah, man, I'm really glad that, uh, I mean, the first time I saw you guys perform, we played with you guys in uh, Donna. Right. We're in Donna, mm -hmm. Texas, and we did, uh, I think it was the first Chisholm Trail concert or whatever. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And it was downtown Donna. It was a street. And you guys were, you guys played right before us, right? right. And, man, dude, when I... When I was hearing you all from backstage, I was like, "Dude, that freaking!" I, I could have sworn it was your dad, your grandpa, up there performing, you know, singing the songs. I mean, it, it sounded so great. And of course, like you said, the country rolling band, right on it, man. The same, yeah. you know, the the compas and the, yeah. the, the the music, the guitar, the bass, and the drums, and it's just awesome, man. Yeah, I mean, it 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 was like you said. Sometimes I freak out because I'll sing and like I've. I get goosebumps. I feel mm -hmm. like I hear my granddad. You know, it's like, <laughs> damn. You yeah. know? Yeah, man. It's crazy. I love this one, bro. Con garbitas y palabras se enamora una mujer. Ya cuando se ve. This segment was brought to you by Dr. T's Primary Care for Men. In response to our current COVID-19 situation, Dr. T's Primary Care is offering discounted prices on our IV vitamin infusion therapy for all frontline workers, law enforcement, and any male or female patient looking to improve their immune system. Not only do we offer PCR testing for COVID, but we also offer safe and natural solutions to improve your health. Call 956-441-2188 and ask about our discounted IV vitamin infusion therapy. Follow us on Facebook for up-to-date information. Call 956-441-2188.